Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to the Money Boys. Start the second half. It's underway. Both teams battling hard for the first half. It's been totally out there by Thunder. I know we've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. He had a great first half, just an explosive kind of offensive display there. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be surprised if we're talking about what a great second half he had. He can usually keep it going for all four quarters. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Peter Rick. That's the use all two up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the 76ers. Kelly Williams and Jay Rich in the backcourt. Randolph is out there with Noah. And it's Turner in the first spot. And it's Thunder. And he makes it away. Thunder's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Senate. And it's Carter Williams. And now the feed to Turner. 55 to 2. Outside Rondo. Oh, and there's the alley oop. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open, and it's good. Fuck you, guys. That gets the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. And that sends Nerlens Noel to the free throw line. Serge Chibonia picks one up there. Celtics with the lead. Back to run. And he lobs it up for the rim. And the shot is in the air. It's a real alley oop catcher. I thought a pass, plug, fix, the dunk, all of it. Precision at its time. And it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. With this deal. So it's work Textbook example there of how to use defense to create all for that beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the best. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. It feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Got a piece of it. Richardson gets to Brother Williams. Down the bottom of the shot clock. Shoots to Richardson, and that's good. Richardson's got 11 points. No confusion defensively. Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that. Outside of Uncle. Yeah. 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 He's got it. He's got it. Well, they've been so effective when they've been able to get the ball inside. Some real shortcomings from this defense. I mean, they've given up five straight looks in the paper. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And that call gets an instant reaction from the fans. Well, that's a whistle that did not go over very well. Now, here's Rondo. And the events from Evan Turner. Back to Rondo. Dish now to Gorsai. It's rebounded by Noel. Noel's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Carter Williams. Randall sets a screen for Carter Williams. He dishes it to Noel. He feeds it to Carter Williams. He's checked by a bottle. Seven points in the game. Next to the two. Here's Thunder. 
to the tomb. Fires for three, another three for Philadelphia. Good job creating just enough space to let that one fly. Rondo gets to the two. Now in this one, had a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. This is it for them. Outside Rondo, he beats it all time. It's good coming on the assist by Rondell Rondo. And it's a six point zone of lead. And you can feel the pattern of this game. You guys are working it inside, dominating in the paint, hitting shots at will. Well, four of the last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Now, oh, here's Randolph. Flying so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Carter Williams. It's going to be two free throws. Drew Contact on the shot. I just love his ability as an on ball defender. It's so important to have people like that on the roster because the pick and roll is the way the game is played today. He's as good a pick and roll defender as I see. And I think part of the reason for that is he has a real good sense of when to go over the screen and when to go under, depending on who the ball handler is. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Williams checked in for Noel, and Royce White subbed in for Anthony Randall. Celtics lead by four. Rondo kicks to the two. It's Dwight with the rebound. Philadelphia's drawn two or three when they venture outside the arc in the third quarter. Sorry, Thomas. Leads him in there. Shots good by Turner. Turner's got four points this quarter. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Mark. They're getting after it. They're starting to run a little bit low on energy. Now he's going to go to the shot. He's good. Very hot season the second half to see them bring that field goal percentage way up. Now they're cruising now, really looking to add to this lead. And this has been a clinic for the Williams brother. He's covered by Rondo. A three from Thomas. Oh, that's blocked. And he floats in for the easy two. Turn the assist on that one. Austin's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. The best of them. To the inside. Here's Sollinger. Shot is up. The 76ers go the other way with it. Their next game, playing at home, is the Nets coming to town. That'll be the first of two straight at home. There you go, the fans out in Brooklyn. That's what we're hoping for their team to win that one. Now here's White. So we're going to pass it to Newman. Takes it to Carter Williams. To tie. Crazy that time for Rondo. Oh, this is even He's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. And shooting has really suffered. And that's for Thunder. Back to Rondo. This is a 
Up this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Great luck, disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. Thomas picks the white. Now the dish to Carter Williams. Down low. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Austin's gone 6 of 10 for three point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Outside Rondo. And stolen by Thomas. He dishes it to Carter Wilden. Back to Thomas for the lead. Patoon grabs the miss. Patoon's got his third rebound tonight. It's on Rondo. He needs this one. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Well, he's wide open there, but uh, really struggles from that range. Maybe there's a reason he's open. Oh. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Celtics with the lead. Oh. The teardrop. Outside for the two. Outside Rondo. Rondo off the bench from Celtics. The try by Rondo. And Thomas is going for the chance for one more at the free throw line. And break down here, that is the hustle stats for Boston. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. They worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They had a bunch of second chance points. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Noel comes in for Newman, and it's James Anderson in for Royce White. Here is Carney, and here's Anderson for three. That's good. Anderson spent 17 now. There's 117 left to play in the third. And the Humphreys gets rebounded by Noel. Noel's got six rebounds here tonight. Thomas with the ball. He's picked up by Brooks. They now take the lead. And 12 points for Evan Turner. How about the passing there? Moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on the system today. Beautiful to watch. Now here's Brooks. And the team takes the run. Brooks. That's good. Coming out of the assist by Ronjan Rondo. Rondo's got his eighth assist in the game. Here's Anderson. Chris Humphreys comes up with the rebound. Humphreys has got three rebounds so far in the game. Rondo passes to Brooks. Back to Rondo. It's Brooks on the way. Outside Rondo. Six on the shot clock. That's hard for Thomas. It's the kind of defense you're required to take the ball here to do. It's right in the space. Cody kicks to Thomas. Another shot. This is the way. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball 